So the skin on my legs is looking really wrinkly and old. Oh my God. It's like, I think maybe I shouldn't look in the mirror anymore. And my neck, I just noticed my neck the last few days. It looks like it's getting older. I just started writing my new show and it was about being a woman of, in this age, this stage I'm at, of being an older woman in our society and the ageism and all the, the comments you get and how the bias is against you and like how people talk to you differently. Like, are you still working or are you retired? And like, how do you respond to that? It's like really weird. So all of a sudden I started feeling like I was like enter this new country, like this new world. It was like, you really don't want to be in, but here you are. In the mid to late nineties, I was living in Williamsburg and Greenpoint when it was like an underground artist community. I was dressing similar to how I am today in a lot of rainbow colors, but I was wearing a lot of colored wigs as well before it became in style now with wearing colored hair. I was wearing aqua wigs, lavender, pink. I was wearing all different color wigs. I couldn't stand all this black. And for me, I like, I needed to like, uplift myself and others and make, help people smile. One of the things, um, that I share in my show that I feel is important is that I've learned that instead of focusing on how many, how many years you've been here, to focus on your gratitude moments instead of, oh, I'm this age, I'm this number, oh, I'm getting older, all that stuff, where like it's shifting thought into just being grateful for the good that's unfolding each day and that joy and enthusiasm and unself-love do not age. So it's, my new title is, well, it's called Ageless Wonders, A Grown-Up Kid's Guide to Growing Newer. We're ageless wonders, and so are you.